Knoxville, Tennessee is a city ready to welcome you. While its more famous neighbors Nashville and Memphis might hog all the Tennessee glory, Knoxville is still a destination worthy of your attention. Known as Scruffy Town, or more appealingly, the gateway to the Great Smoky Mountains, it has destinations suitable for just about anyone. Whether it's art, history, food, or the great outdoors you're looking for, stick around to check out the top things to do in Knoxville, Tennessee. Great Smoky Mountains National Park Day Trip Knoxville is known as the gateway to the Great Smoky Mountains for a reason, and visitors who love the great outdoors shouldn't pass on visiting the national park that bears its name. Although the park entrance is not located inside Knoxville, it's an easy drive to get there and perfect for a day trip. The GSMNP is America's most popular national park, with well over a million visitors each year. People come from all over for the jaw-dropping scenery, historical buildings, abundant animal life, and well-maintained hiking and cycling trails. If you're popping in for the day from Knoxville, a visit to Cades Cove is a must. This green valley is one of the most popular tourist sites and can be reached on foot, by bike, or by car. Be sure to take it slowly and enjoy the sights and nature and look out for foxes, deer, or even black bears. With over 800 miles of hiking trails, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park will definitely be the perfect day trip for you. After enjoying the sights and scenery, head back to Knoxville for the rest of your next adventure. For more intrepid hikers, Knoxville is a perfect staging ground for a multi-day camping and hiking trip. World's Fair Park In the 80s, Knoxville was struggling. Competition had taken away its industrial dominance, and the growing highway network meant it wasn't a railway powerhouse anymore. But the city turned a new leaf with the 1982 World's Fair, which became one of the most popular expositions in U.S. history with over 11 million visitors. While most of the fair's attractions are long gone, visiting the site of the historic turning point is worth the time. The only remaining buildings from the fair are the Tennessee Amphitheater, which still hosts shows, and the iconic Sun Sphere. This 266-foot structure is topped with a golden sphere and is one of the most distinctive buildings on the Knoxville skyline. Admission is free, and guests can climb inside the sphere to enjoy a 360-degree view of the city. Besides the Sun Sphere, it's also worth visiting Volunteer's Landing. This structure was built to monitor the environmental condition of the Tennessee River and offers some quiet walks and great photo ops. Then cool off in the Splash Pad, a network of water fountains built with young visitors in mind before continuing your adventures. McClung Museum of Natural History and Culture Nestled in the University of Tennessee campus, the McClung Museum is a compact attraction that's densely filled with artifacts and exhibitions. The museum has free admission and free parking, and the wealth of objects on display make it one of the best things to do in Knoxville and a really easy sale to tourists. The museum's most interesting feature is called Monty, and he's a 24-foot-long cast bronze skeleton of a hadrosaur, a duck-billed dino that called this area home millions of years ago. Inside, you'll find collections relating to Egyptology, archaeology, paleontology, and anthropology, as well as new temporary exhibitions. It takes about two hours to explore the whole museum, so it's a great way to explore the past before lunch. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of Knoxville's top attractions. Historic Old Town Interested in some of the best food, shopping, and live entertainment Knoxville has to offer? Then visit Historic Old Town. This part of downtown is a thriving artist and foodie haven, offering plenty to see and do day and night. Dishes and cuisine from every corner are offered, including loaded hot dogs, Japanese, Mexican, and traditional American grills. If you're thirsty, check out one of the many Scottish or Irish pubs for an authentic experience, or mosey on over to the distilleries to see how gin, whiskey, and more are made. There are plenty of galleries and art exhibitions, so art lovers are welcome. And if you return after dark, make sure to catch a show. Historic Old Town has a bustling events calendar, and almost every night offers something new to take in. Music of all types, dancing, live sports, and more. Gay Street Another historically significant part of the city is Gay Street, which has the honor of being Knoxville's first paved road. Gay Street has played host to a number of important historical events, including assassinations, shootouts, civil war rallies, and successful nonviolent civil rights protests. With plenty of historic buildings, local legends, and plenty of dining options too, Gay Street is a great place to explore. Beyond that, Gay Street is also Knoxville's theater hub, with plenty of options for live entertainment. 
The Tennessee and Bijou Theater are both located there and play host to opera, comedy, contemporary, and even off-Broadway shows, in addition to other performance art presentations and even movies. And if you want a ride in style, catch one of Knoxville's iconic free trolley buses that operate in Gay Street and the Old Town. Women's Basketball Hall of Fame Opened in 1999, the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame celebrates and recognizes the queens of the court. The only facility of its kind in the world, the hall is an essential part of a visit to Knoxville. The building is easily identified thanks to the 10-ton basketball on the roof, which, mind you, is also the biggest basketball ever made. Within the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame is housed information about its inductees, artifacts either signed by famous players or specific to women's basketball history, the iconic Eastman statue, and a basketball court for attendees to practice their skills at shooting, dribbling, and passing. There are also unique frames to pretend to be a famous player at a point in their lives. Tour the Gardens A visit to Knoxville will leave you aware of the relationship between cities and nature and you can really appreciate this connection in one of Knoxville's beautifully maintained gardens. The University of Tennessee Gardens are part of the esteemed University's Institute of Agriculture and are recognized as the official gardens of Knoxville. Maintained and curated by students and volunteers, the gardens are free to the public and have more than 4,000 different plants growing here. The garden functions as a massive verdant laboratory, giving researchers and students the chance to study how this vegetation functions. Collections include rose gardens, old growth trees, annual flower beds, a children's garden, and even a kitchen-friendly garden, which should give plenty of inspiration to aspiring chefs. Similarly, the Knoxville Botanical Garden and Arboretum also allows visitors to wander amongst the flowers and tiptoe through tulips. This garden is spread over 47 hectares and incorporates historic structures and attractive stonework in its design. Also free to the public, it's a perfect place to enjoy nature in an urban space. So bring a book, sniff the daisies, and unwind. Market Square In the heart of downtown lies one of the best things to do in Knoxville, the Market Square. This historic area has been in use since the 1850s and remains a popular place to stroll, shop, and snack. This open-air destination offers live music, art displays, theatrical performances, and a myriad of activities in each season. It also has plenty of options for hungry travelers. Highly recommended by many is the Tomato Head, widely renowned for its vegetarian and vegan offerings, as well as its eclectic Italian-inspired menu. Knoxville's Urban Wilderness Nature doesn't just surround Knoxville, it's intertwined with the city. Knoxville's urban wilderness, as they put it, is closer than you think. Occupying over 1,000 acres, the urban wilderness invites you to explore its 50-plus miles of trails and tracks. Nine distinct parks or adventure areas are linked, all within a short drive from the hotels and conveniences of the city. If you can imagine an outdoor activity, you can do it here. Hike the trails, including a 12.5-mile trail connecting all the areas, race down the Devil's Racetrack, an expert-level bike track, conquer boulders and cliffs, or just take a nice walk in the trees. Be sure to check out Ejom's Nature Center. This protected area is rich with birds and flower life and allows visitors to tackle the trees in the Navitat Canopy Adventure and paddle out on the flooded Ross Marble and Meads Quarry Lakes. And if you're traveling with your dog, you'll be pleased to know leash dogs are welcome. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss one of your favorites from Knoxville? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.